Ladies and gentlemen of Miramar, are you ready for the Blue Angels? <laughs> Not too bad, but you can probably do better. The next voice you hear, if you are loud enough, will be Griffin Stangle, Lieutenant Commander from Madison, Wisconsin. Let me ask, ladies and gentlemen of Miramar, one more time, are, are you ready for the Blue Angels? That's more like it. All the way from Naval Air Sta Station, Pensacola, Florida. Since 1946, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the United States Navy's Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels! States Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron takes pleasure in performing for you this, one of our many flight demonstrations of the 2022 season. I'm Lieutenant Commander Griffin Stangle, narrator of the Blue Angels. The maneuvers you will see demonstrated here this afternoon are coordinated tactical techniques developed by Navy and Marine Corps pilots in both peacetime training and actual combat. These maneuvers are neither stunts nor daring feats, but are refinements of basic techniques taught to every prospective naval aviator. Here at Miramar, we will demonstrate these maneuvers at very low altitude in traditional Blue Angel formation so that you may see and take pride in the precise fashion in which your Navy and Marine Corps pilots are trained to fly. Now, direct your attention to the ramp before you. Observe the military manner in which the six demonstration pilots approach their aircraft and are saluted by their crew chiefs. Ladies and gentlemen, Flying Blue Angel number one, the commanding officer and flight leader of the Blue Angels from Fargo, North Dakota, Captain Brian Kesselring. <laughs> Flying Blue Angel number two, the right wingman from Yorktown, Virginia, Lieutenant Commander Chris Kapashansky. <laughs> Flying Blue Angel number three, the left wingman from San Francisco, California, Lieutenant Scott Goosens. <laughs> Flying Blue Angel number four, the slot pilot from Kingwood, Texas, Major Frank Zastapil. Yeah. Flying Blue Angel number five, the lead solo from Atlanta, Georgia, Ooh. Lieutenant Commander Kerry Rickoff. Yeah. Flying Blue Angel number six, the opposing solo from Woodlawn, Tennessee, Lieutenant Commander Julius Spratton. The Navy's Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels, is the oldest performing U.S. military aviation demonstration team. Since 1946, the Blue Angels have brought naval aviation to men and women of all ages across America. We were first based at Naval Air Station Jacksonville, Florida, flying F-6F Hellcats. We continued flying Grumman Corporation aircraft for 22 years, transitioning in late 1946 to the more powerful and faster F-8F Bearcat. In 1950, we transitioned to jet aircraft with the straight wing F-9F2 Panther, the predecessor of the swept wing F-9F8 Cougar, which we received in 1955. In 1957, the Blue Angels became equipped with high-performance aircraft with the arrival of the supersonic F-11F Tiger. In 1969, we received the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom and flew this supersonic jet until 1974 when we transitioned to the A-4 Skyhawk. In 1987, we acquired the F-18 Hornet and demonstrated its reliability over 34 show seasons. We are now in our second year of flying the combat-proven Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet. 
The noise level will soon become too high for you to hear a description of the checks they will be performing. However, please note that each aircraft was carefully inspected by expert Blue Angel maintenance personnel prior to this afternoon's aerial demonstration. The Blue Angels fly the Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet, a multi-mission strike fighter, versions of which have been operational throughout the fleet since 2001.
Lieutenant Commander Brian Abe, our maintenance officer from Richardson, Texas, is responsible for the men, women, and equipment that keep our aircraft flying. Now, to the left, Captain Kesselring calls, smoke on, off brakes now, burners ready now, and the Blue Angel Diamond is rolling. As they pass before you, you will notice that the smoke is no longer visible while the engines are an afterburner.
the entire formation has shifted back into the Blue Angel Diamond.
smoke on. Ready to break. will separate in dramatic fashion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Angel Delta Breakout. Navy and Marine Corps, the Blue oh, Angels, 2022. And ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the voice of the Blue Angels from Madison, Wisconsin, Lieutenant Commander Griffin Stangle. Ready to go, push pop. <laughs> 